What's going on everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we got most feared part 4 scary tall guys Now I do want to apologize first and foremost for no video on Sunday I do want to apologize for the bad audio quality. I do want to apologize for everything seeming off guys My computer is broken. I don't know what happened. I don't know how Literally for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I got home Went out the night before got home went on my computer and it was broken like frozen boot loop won't start up I tried factory setting it didn't work i don't know what's wrong with it but i cannot use it for the time being i'm taking it back tonight so let's see how things will but for now i'm working off macbook pro not my typical setup here laptop yeti does want to work on it so right, guys before we get into today's video make sure down below turn that noti bell boys can join the family make sure you do a big thumbs up and if you guys want to join the poodle squad all you got to do is comment down below poodle squad like the video and of course turn on the noti bell now shout out to today's poodle squad which is richard quillen shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much for showing support each and every day and guys, if you need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below in the description. Coins are discounted for Halloween, or Halloween weekend-ish, week-ish. Uh, take advantage for the new Most Feared Part 4. Pick up some players, pick up some coins and cards. But that's it. Let's get into this. So first we got Anthony Nelson, 7th and overall for the Buccaneers. We got Dalton Schultz, tight end for the Cowboys. We got Tano Kapasaganan, uh, eh, I think. Uh, we got Alden Tate, wide receiver for the Bengals. We got Eric Harris, safety for the Raiders. And then we got, I'm not even going to try that, by Ty for the Lions. That's what we got for that. But those are the low ones. Getting some of the better stuff. Some of the higher players, we got 80. We got 85 overall, Derek Brown uh, for the Panthers. He used their rookie. So if you guys have his rookie premiere, he did go up in value. 68 speed, 80 excel, 87 strength, 84 tackle, 82 uh, play rate, 80 block shed, 75 power move. I hate how they do this. They make every rookie premiere unusable. Like, I don't it's one thing to make them not great right because like so everyone doesn't have the best cards but not usable like you literally can't use 80 blocks and 75 power move in any facet of this game it's just an overall at that point but moving on to the next one and nick Foles, 85 overall quarterback for the chicago bears you got 87 throw power 83 throw short 81 medium 80 deep 82 throw under pressure 81 uh throw on the run and 82 play action now this card already looks better than in comparison to Derek brown just goes to show you what they do for the same overall when it comes to rookie premier versus non rookie premier this card's decent nothing too great the left tackle for the jets is their rookie uh 92 strength 81 awareness 82 pass block 83 pass block power 80 pass block finesse 86 run block 84 run block power and 85 run block finesse now this card's decent it's well-rounded he is super tall he's like six foot seven or something like that very tall left tackle. kind of wish the giants taking him over andrew thomas but it is what it is, but he's looking decent. Nothing too special, just an average left tackle for more of a budget team, per se. We've got Tremaine Edmonds, middle linebacker for the Buffalo Bills. 85 speed, 84 excel, 72 strength, 87 tackle, 85 play rack, 80 block shed, and 87 hit power. Not bad. Powered up and coming up, we'll have an 88 hit power with 86 speed. And, of course, he's super tall, so do with that as you will. Nothing too great. Again, just average. I mean, scary tall, I've, I've historically called it scary, uh, scary slow, but... Again, let's see the bigger, uh, the bigger cards and see what we really think there. First here, guys, we do have Richard Sherman, which is kind of what I figured. Now, Richard Sherman only has an 87 speed. Now, remember, all these cards can be powered up. It seems like they make Richard Sherman slower and slower each year. I know he's getting older, but 87 speed is pretty brutal. Like, that's like defensive lineman. But Richard Sherman, 90 overall, has 87 speed, 88 excel, 89 excel, 94 jumping, 91 play rec, 82 man coverage, 90 zone coverage, and, of course, 89 press. Now, the thing with the press is... That's important, and his zone's important, but he used to always have good man. Now, that really throws him off, because I, I kind of miss one. I, I, it was an assumption that Rich Sherman would hit every single threshold, and all you have to deal with is his speed. But if you're not getting man out of him, and you're not getting speed out of him, what are you really getting anymore? Like a standstill zone guy? Now, Kemp up and powered up, he's going to have like a 96 zone, going to have like a 94, 95 press. And he's going to end up having like an 88, 87 man. But the thing is, only 88 speed. He's really not going to be that usable unless you, unless you strictly use him in the flats, but like... Why sacrifice that when there's plenty of other corners with that exact man zone press and way faster? I I, I would recommend going another route. For the other hero, we have Travis Kelsey. Now, Travis Kelsey, of course, hasn't had an upgrade all year. We finally got some for him. 90 overall tight end. He's been having a great year, too. 84 speed, 77 strength, 89 catching. 89 catching traffic, 90 spec, 88 short route running, 84 medium route running, and 71 run blocking. Now, I wish his run block was a bit higher because I feel like he is a pretty good run blocker. And he's kind of slower. So this is the issue with Kelsey that we typically have in Madden. He never has great speed. They never really seem to give him that great run blocking. And then he's always an average catcher. So, like, I don't really understand the purpose. Like, so if you power up and come up, you have 85 speed, threshold catching. And I don't even think he'll hit the medium. He may hit the medium by running threshold, but it's going to be kite. And you're going to need to play fake max. So, like, and he won't hit the short. I don't think Kelsey's that great. So far, I don't like any of these cards, to be quite honest with you, for myself. 
personally. For the master, we have 92 overall Calais Campbell. Now, he's like six foot eight. We always expected him to get something. Figured it would have been an LTD, but we will take a, um, a hero here or a master. You can see his man of the year patch right there. 71 speed, 82 excel, 90 strength, 92 tackle, 92 play rec, 93 block shed, 90 power move, and 89 finesse move. Now, he's actually really good because powered up and chemmed up, his block shed is 94 and his power move is 91. So, he's all threshold with strength, with play rec. He's going to be a really, really good pass rusher. It kind of comes down to, like, do you prefer the speed or do you want the well-roundedness? Now, he's going to play great in any scheme because he's going to be able to pass rush and block shed. Now, again, the speed's a bit on the lower side. Maybe, honestly, you might be better off putting him at defensive tackle. At defensive tackle, he's going to eat out of that spot because he's still going to be above athletic for that spot, like above average athleticism, while having great run-stopping ability and still being able to pass rush pretty efficiently. His Calais Campbell is actually really, really good. I like him. I don't think he's bad. I mean, people, you know, cheeseheads are going to say like Javon Curse with the 87 speed and stuff. But again, if you do run defensive tackles, I put Calais Campbell there. You still get your extra ends out of it, and you get that extra athleticism out of that spot and pass rush and pan up block shed. But still, not too bad. But Harold Carmichael, wide receiver for the Eagles. Now, I don't know his exact height. It's probably anywhere between six foot five and six foot seven. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but he's definitely scary tall, and that's for sure. Now. He has 90 speed, 92 jumping, 89 catching, 91 catching traffic, 91 spec, 91 short route running, 87 medium route running, 89 deep. Now, if you power him up and put play fake on him, he will get every route running threshold, which is important, especially at that height. 91 speed. Now, when I look at this car, the way I see it, it seems like a worse version of Julio. Like, despite the height, Julio is going to get all the route running as well, but be a bit faster and a bit better catcher. Now, Again, if you care about height, like if you seriously only care about height and that's like a big deal for you, then he's going to be a better version of Julio. But if you care about just stats in general and who's going to play better, you know, despite height, you want to go Julio, NFL, uh, NFL 50 here because I, or the 50 here. I think that's going to be a better option for you. Now, like I said, Harold Carmichael is good, but that 90 speed is kind of lackluster. I mean, we had 90 speed, you know. A new promo is about breaking barriers, specifically like speed barriers. Like it's time to reach new levels of speed. And Harold Carmichael seems like you're almost going backwards there by putting him on your team. 91 speed's already played out, and I don't imagine it'll last too long, even, you know, as being effective beyond just being super useful. Just some generic screenshots right here. Earn the Scary Tall Masters. These are just some of the screenshots. Again, guys, I cannot get on the game. I cannot record on my computer shot. So I've been showing you guys screenshots. Seems a lot more effective for me at the time. This won't be too long, just until this is fixed. So here you go. Here are these sets. The Scary Tall set. Now, out of all of them, the coolest looking one probably is the Scary Tall uh, I mean, scary tall, then probably scary strong. I think scary sharp and scary fast, probably the least looking, like the least great looking ones, and they're probably the two best ones that we got. Although scary strong was pretty good too. But those are the sets right there. The uh, masters looking like obviously exchange Kelsey and Sherman and two 87s, well, 87 and 85. Get back two of the heroes back as Nat. So again, I don't think I do this set. All the other sets were fine, but this one specifically, I don't like the return. I don't think you could start Sherman or Kelsey unless you're rocking a Chiefs or Seahawks theme team. Or a uh, 49ers steam team or so on. So I really don't think this is going to be a worthwhile set to be getting done for the most part. There's a new House Rules Tug of War lock. Remember to be playing this, guys. You do get an 87 overall most feared hero fantasy pack if you do get this done, which will help you uh, do the sets for free. Because remember, you get one free 90 to uh, one free 90. You will get a nat 85 from the first House Rules and then a nat 87 from this House Rules. So essentially, all you need is one 90 overall player to complete one of the Masters. So you'll, you'll be getting it done for so, so cheap. Or you could even make that 90 if you collected enough other stuff. But make sure you're getting that done. Okay, of course, uh, Mud Draft update. Most uh, Madden Season 2 targeted to release this Thursday. Series 3 update targeted to release Friday, November 6th. No weekly qualifier this week. October weekly rewards move to Friday the 6th as well. So when it drops. And then for the missing potions for people asking, Madden team is addressing that. That's been a glitch. And finally, guys, Series 3 details. Player artwork will have different border and stamp. LTD icon removed for the Redux players. Series Redux do not quick sell for 250k coins but for appropriate training based on player overall. And then, of course, Series uh, 2 trophies will automatically convert to Series 3 trophies, and they will be cut in half this time. And it's scheduled to release November 6th. Well, guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, cut me some slack for the uh, lack of setup and everything I'm dealing with right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. For all you guys that didn't mind the audio and everything, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys want a chance to be shout out on the next Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on the noti bell. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Uh, about it if you guys need coins head over to mutt reserve down below use code poodle for 15 percent off take advantage of halloween discounts but yeah i'm out enjoy the rest of your day peace